Hi, this is Dr. Kingston, and we are going to do a little review here of tongue innervation. And to do this, we are simply going to uh, describe the pathway of special sensory and general sensory information from the tongue to the brain. All right. So since this landing objective is really focused on sensory innervation, I want to head and just toss the motor supply up on here already. So we've got the hypoglossal nerves that are going to supply somatic motor innervation to all of the intrinsic and extrinsic tongue muscles, except for palatoglossus, which is innervated by vagus. All right. So our sensory innervation then, again, it's less simple but it's not hard. So let's start adding that in. We'll start posteriorly here. And the bulk of the posterior third of the tongue uh, gets sensory innervation, both special and somatic via the glossopharyngeal nerve. All right. So remember this territory begins just anterior to the valate papillae. So it's slightly different from the root of the tongue, which begins just posterior to them. Um, and there is also this small territory back here that gets some overlap from the vagus nerve. So remember, vagus does somatic sensory for the larynx, which begins right here. So these fibers are just creeping forward a little ways to share some of uh, sensory in innervation of the root of the tongue. For the anterior two-thirds of the tongue, somatic sensory is coming via the lingual nerve, which is a branch of V3. So here is V3 in the infratemporal fossa. All right, right there. And then here is its posterior division. The lingual nerve branches from the posterior division then and heads inferiorly and anteriorly into the oral cavity by going deep to the mandibular ramus. And then it travels down into the sublingual space where it approaches the tongue from inferior. Now, as the lingual nerve runs through here, it picks up a hitchhiker. Corda tympani is a branch of the facial nerve that passes through the middle ear, exits the cranium through the petrotrympanic fissure and into the infratemporal fossa. You can see that happening right here. It's going to be carrying some preganglionic parasympathetics for the lingual and sub sublingual and submandibular glands. Uh, but more germane to our purposes here, it's carrying special taste sensory fibers from the anterior two thirds of the tongue. Uh, we can see it joining up with the lingual nerve here, and then it will travel with that into the oral cavity. All right, so let's add in our special sensory for the anterior tongue here from corda tympani. And that is going to complete our map. And it is actually going to complete this entire learning objective. So here is your review question. The corda tympani enters the infratemporal fossa through which opening? Correct answer is D, the petrotympanic fissure, a little fissure that I am sure you are so sick of hearing the name of, you would never like to hear it again, but here we are. Uh, thank you very much for joining me for this review, and I will see you next time.